point. In your health tonight, a historic transplant with a memorial significance. Yale New Haven Hospital celebrating kidney donor transplant number 1000 with this Memorial Day, even more meaningful for both donor and recipient. News 8 medical reporter Jocelyn Amenta has more on today's announcement. Jocelyn. Anna and Darren, it is indeed a milestone for the transplantation center at Yale New Haven Hospital. What makes this story stand out on this Memorial Day weekend? The life of a Marine is the link between the donor and recipient. This life-saving organ transplant surgery marks a significant milestone for Yale New Haven Hospital. Here you go, the 1,000th kidney transplant. It's the 1,000th live kidney donor transplant for the transplantation team. Dr. Sanjay Kulkarni orchestrating the moves in the donor's operating room. It's a big team effort whenever this occurs. Everything has to be coordinated, um, so there's a, a good result. Less than a half an hour later, Dr. David Mulligan is in another room, successfully reconnecting the kidney with its recipient. The kidney's in, Reaper kids looking beautiful. This can all be linked to a close-knit group of high school friends, with Joe Leto and his family as the glue. That's Jason Gaddy next to Joe with the white hat in this photograph. Every Wednesday they have a dinner at their house, just open invite, anybody comes. Lance Corporal Joe Leto of the U.S. Marines died during a training exercise 17 years ago. Through the years, Jason and his wife Jackie, also a member of that same group, stayed close with Joe's family. So when Joe's mom, Mimi Leto, posted on social media she needed a kidney because she was battling end-stage kidney disease, Jason did not hesitate. Well, he's not here to, to help his family on his own, so I'm, um, you know, any one of us would have done the same thing to, to help out in his absence. It was almost like instinct. He just, like that same day, he started calling Yale and just asking, and they weren't even set up to receive testing for, for Mimi yet. Their decision caught hey. Mimi by surprise. Jason goes, Mimi, what are you doing mid May? You know, I don't make plans that. He goes, uh, you want to do something with us? I'm like, sure. What? He says, We'll go to New Haven, I'll give you my kidneys. <laughs> that did it for me. I started crying, my husband started crying. Both are recovering well, and at this news conference, two and a half weeks since the transplant, Joe was present in spirit and on their minds. For Mimi... Yeah. And now he is mine. <laughs> Jason and his family are even more firmly planted in her life. Now we are as connected as can be, yes. And it was pretty easy decision. Um, you know, you don't get the opportunity to help somebody very often. The first living kidney donor transplant at Yale New Haven Hospital was in 1967. The need for donors is so critical with the growing number of people now on the waiting list. For more information on how you can become a donor, head to our website, WTNH.com. Darren? Isn't that fantastic. All right, listen, we've got more information, another look at that story, all there on the website right now. Like Jocelyn said, WTNH.com.